sorry. Can I take a look, please? No, there's nothing to look at. Better give me an injection. Oh, my God. I'm afraid this will happen. If we don't amputate it, you won't survive the afternoon. Our prison doctor, he told me the same thing. Word for word. But that was over a week ago. And he didn't do anything? Sadly, the only surgical equipment he had was a, was a rusty wash basin. Very funny. All right. All right. Don't, don't worry. It should be like that. Only like that. I'm, I'm also talking to God. To God? Great. You need to get up if you don't want to lose something else to frostbite. You've seen my arm, yes? It's been a week, or more. I doubt it. And what does God have to do with this? Well, uh, let me explain. Ever since that night, everything, every event, it all happened as I was told it would. I I'm certain I was the only one who left that train alive. It's all going according to plan. Every fucking step is God's plan, do you understand? So taking me hostage was God's plan? I know what you're thinking, but remember the gospel. The father who gave his money to the prodigal son, not to the beloved one, the good one, but to the bandit. He who had been murdering and stealing, but came back. He came back. Do you understand? I think the Lord is happier to see, to see one repentant sinner than, well, a hundred thousand righteous people. I don't know. I, they don't even need repentance. Do you, do you hear me? You know, he, he laid everything out before me. Spread out like a deck of cards. The past, the present, the future. Who? God, who else? I was lying there, about to die. And a sister, just like you, brought me some water in this mug. And I was drinking and I saw, I saw ripples in the water. Little round waves. And heard a whisper. So I drank and... You heard God in a cup? In a cup, yes. But that's, that's not the point. I'll show you when we get there. Look, a water tower. That means the station is behind the windmill. A station? Why? We're doing fine. We've only got fuel for a couple of us. I won't be able to drag you around with no steam. Maybe we should go around. A nun and an officer? Who cares? But the telegraph poles. The cables are ripped out, though. And the road. Doesn't look like it's been used lately. do this. It's as if they blocked the passage on purpose. The brake is rusted shut. I have to find something to get rid of the screw. It won't fucking budge.
So? Not yet. Maybe there's something in that shed. Miss the smell. Found a wrench. Give it to me.
Lord have mercy. What's that? Just a dog. Calm down. I hate that. Hurry up. Quiet, quiet, little doggy. We won't hurt you. You're crazy. Run. Makes sense. Quiet, quiet, little doggy. We won't hurt you. You're crazy. Run. No, I, I would have already fucked you up with my bare hands if I wanted. Well, hand. Why? I mean, why the fuck did you throw away the revolver? It would have been useful. I mean, a girl. I, 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 would, I would never. Well, Tell me something. If you're God's chosen one, why didn't God heal you completely right away? That's a good question. Here's your answer. Here. Here. The Kajets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Come on. I don't understand. So God had enough power only to stop the rotting, but to heal you completely, he needed some kind of tool. It's not, it's, it's not about the tool. A man can't be saved against his will, you see. Basically, look, yeah. It has nothing to do with my arm. It's about the path. The path we've been given. And whether to follow it or not, it's up to us. And what do I have to do with it? So, possessed people are taken to the Kajits? Everybody is. Do I look possessed to you? No, not you. All right, let's get out of here. Hoist me up. Me hoist you up? Yes, you. You won't be able to pull me up from up there. <laughs> 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 Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Come on. Ah, fucking. You piece of shit. Come on. Come on.
Of course it wasn't a coincidence, and now Indica realized it too. She had heard about the Kudyats and its miracles, but right now, in Spasov and Ilya, meeting a prisoner who talks to God would not be an everyday occurrence. Also, Indica took a liking to him. Who, this one? No. One way or another, there was certainly no doubt that she had to head for Spasov and not the Danilov Monastery. The letter. I cannot neglect my duty. What if there's something important in it? Open it. See for yourself. No. Reading someone else's letter is a greater sin than not delivering it. Greater? How much greater? Twice as much. I don't know. Interesting. So, not delivering two letters is the same as reading one. What about stealing? Pocketing a ruble, for example. Is that worse? Worse. How much worse? This is nonsense. You can't compare such things. Why not? The priest imposes a different penance for different sins. And since you know for sure which is better or worse, there has to be a way of measuring. Then let us say that stealing is ten times worse than not delivering a letter. What about murder? Let us put that at a thousand letters. That would mean that if a postman were to lose a sack full of letters, we'd have a murderer. Although, maybe there should be a bulk discount. <laughs> what about a rapist? A rapist is better than a murderer, right? You are not scared of the sin. You are scared of the letter. Perhaps you should not open it. Do not do it. The abbess knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written. <laughs> Defrocked her? How did that happen? <laughs> There's no way to keep wisdom has to have compassion on our souls so in these latter days. First, you got pushed out of your house, and then out of the monastery! <laughs> Now I have come to thee, my lord and goddess, sinful and bad and one, not having the boldness to look up into the heights of heaven because of the multitude of my transgressions. He's going to send another postcard for Easter. <laughs> and it will get returned. Sorry, she's not here anymore. Oh, Defrocked. <laughs> so where now? When is barren of good deeds, but I beseech thee, my lord, pour out upon me a... Don't even have anything to say. The abbess knows you. Is the protocol I have sent before thee, O merciful father. <laughs> Defrocked her? How did that? Because of the of mercy and compassion, I dare to approach thee, O Christ. Receive me as thou didst the publican protocol and the harlot. Your house, and then out of the monastery. <laughs> and if by chance, I have purposely forgotten my glory, O Father, and among sinners, I have scattered the riches which thou gavest me. O ineffable and unseen grace, for who can tell of thy mighty works? O Christ, or who can number the multitude of thy wonders? Like the man who fell among thieves and was wounded, so have I also fallen through my sins, and my soul is wounded. To whom shall I flee for healing, if not to thee, the compassionate Samaritan? Pour on me, O Christ. Well done, Barbara! As a disciple of the Lord, O just one, thou hast received the gospel as a martyr. Thou art never turned away as the brother of God. Thou hast boldness as a hierarch. Thou canst intercede to thou in <laughs> Why not the unseen grace for who can tell? 
Amen, for I know thieves and was wounded, so have I also fallen through my sins, and my soul is wounded. To whom shall I flee for healing, if not to thee, the compassionate Samaritan? Pour on me, O Christ, thy great mercy. And if, by chance, you were to kill someone and go to jail, sooner or later you'd get pushed out. When this barren look of deeds. Daddy's gonna send another postcard for Easter. <laughs> And it will get returned. Sorry, she's not. As I thought thou didst raise up the paralytic, O Lord God, by thy godlike care and might, raise up my soul. So many. Because of thy kindness, mercy, and compassion. Dumb Barbara! No! <laughs> you don't even. My heart has forgotten my glory, O Father, and among sinners I have scattered the riches which thou gavest me. Now I have come unto thee, my Lord and God, a sinful and bad woman. Her. How did that happen? <laughs> Even if the Kia wasn't after Tikhon had knocked her up, but he is the one you keep wisdom has to compassion. Out of your house, and then out of the monastery. <laughs> and if by chance you were to kill someone and go to jail, sooner or later you'd get pushed out of there as well. <laughs> yeah. Daddy's gonna send another postcard for it. is the protocol I have sent before thee, O merciful Father. Receive me a penitent and make me as one of thy hired servants. So where now? Huh? Huh? So many options. Oh, well, I've forgotten my glory, O Father, and among sinners I have scattered the riches which thou gavest me. For as thou in thy deep wisdom hast had compassion on us, so also in these latter days hast thou made us a new Justice written! <laughs> as a disciple of the Lord, O just one, thou hast received the gospel as a martyr. That happened! <laughs> Even if the Kia wasn't up. Because of thy kindness, mercy, and compassion, I dare to approach thee, O Christ. Receive me as thou didst the publican, the prodigal, and the harlot. <laughs> and if. Now I have come to thee, my Lord and God, a sinful and burdened one, not having the boldness to look up into the heights of heaven because of the multitude of my transgressions. O oh, ineffable and unseen grace, for who can tell of thy mighty works? O oh, Christ, and it get returned. As I thought thou didst be more difficult in this marriage. Now, huh? Huh? So, if I am thieves and was wounded, so have I. In this barren look of deeds, but I beseech thee, O oh Lord. The abbess knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written. <laughs> Defrocked. Even if I is the protocol I have sent before thee, O oh merciful Father, receive me a penitent and make me as one of thy hired servants. Because of thy boundless mercy and compassion, I dare to approach thee, O oh Christ. Out of the monastery! <laughs> And if, by chance, you were to kill someone and go to jail, sooner or later you'd get put- Now I have come to thee, my lord and god, a sinful and bad woman, not having the boldness to look up at the heights of- Dog? Good question. I haven't heard it for a while. Listen, I'll help you get to Spasov. Somehow, Indica was convinced that the Kudyets was going to solve all of her problems. That soon the voice in her head would disappear, and she... return to the monastery as someone who deserves at least forgiveness, if not everyone's love. She thought that years of suffering had been leading her up to this exact moment. I figured out what this place is. This is Denisovka, the paint factory. Marfa told me about it. She, she's our iconographer. They make yellow paint in that shed. Where is everyone? There was an explosion. They say everyone was evacuated in one day.
with me. Wrong uh, way. I won't make it. Hold on. We'll think of something. what we need. Beautiful. We had this one artist in the clink. He drew his family on the wall with his own shit. They look so lifelike. What? He was like that. Didn't manage to finish the drawing of the daughter, though. Le left her with just one eye. He got stabbed. Because of the stench? No. He, he was drawing on the wall outside. It was minus 30 degrees. Shit doesn't really stink when it's cold. He got stabbed. Because... Well, it's... Against the code. Here's the gearing. Planetary gear set. By, by blocking one of the wheels, you can change the direction of the shaft rotation. I see. right now. when there's an overload to protect the important parts of the engine. I see.
Go down. Going down.
down. Going down. I could say, God rest your soul.
be there at some point. What an undignified What a pity. A logical end.
resolve to spot it. It's sinful. There are no sinners among dogs. Only humans can sin. Tempted by the devil. And that dog, its humans left, stopped feeding it. So it became a matter of survival. Interesting. So what's the difference between a human and a dog? The thing you're blaming the devil for is as likely to happen to a human as it is to a dog. It gets angry when its food is taken away. It's ready to tear anyone apart if its possessions are threatened. A dog gets sad if its beloved human is not around. It gets jealous, anxious, even sodomy as possible. Remember that one time when Georgie... That's different. He needed to survive. To find the most promising partner, give birth to offspring. And a human? You have such a simple explanation for a dog. But how come humans can never do without divine or devilish intervention? <laughs>